150,000 Union soldiers camped across the river for the better part of four years. Depending on which book you read, 70 to 90,000 Confederates camped on this side. These guys came from all over the country, Florida, Texas, California, Michigan, Louisiana, Ohio. They all brought their coins. They all brought their bottles. They all brought their buttons. They all brought their buckles and so on, and they left them. So we have this wonderful cross-section of of late 18th, early 19th century, late 17, early 1800s Americana. Well, under that, we have the colonial activity. John Paul Jones, James Madison, James uh, Monroe, James Madison out of town, George Washington. If you have a building that's 200 years old and only one person loses one object a year, that's 200 objects. Imagine if you have children. I, I think of how many wrenches and screwdrivers and stuff, you know, <laughs> sure. that my son's left in yards where I've lived. Any place you dig in Fredericksburg, you go through a colonial layer. Sometimes it's this thick, sometimes it's that thick. And every time they put in a telephone pole, every time they run mechanics, every time they rip up the street, I wait till it rains and walk along, and you will be surprised the clay marbles and the pipe stems and the flat buttons and the Civil War bullets, just because so many people have lived there. Well, underneath this colonial activity, we have the highest concentration of prehistoric sites in all North America right here, only because John Smith mapped them all in 1608. I'm sure throughout the country there's other concentrations of them. So we have all this prehistoric, this colonial, and then the Civil War. So we have all of this stuff here. And I'm a material collector. I like fingering the artifact. To me, that's an intimacy with the past you can't get anyplace else. You dig up that Civil War button, and you're the closest. That's as close as you can get to that man. You're the first one to handle it since that's, that soldier lost it. When you find a LaCroix projectile point or arrowhead that, say, is 8,000 B.C., it's been 10,000 years since that Indian shot it and you picked it up. And that puts it all in perspective for me. you know. And then it goes back to we don't own this stuff, we just manage it. We're just here in a little blink of an eye. The, the American Indian thought we were so arrogant that we, I own this land. You know, you're just a, a speck of dust and you're going to be gone, and then somebody else is going to own it, and you leave it better or worse.